Hello everyone and welcome to another MapleStory patch notes video going over version 238 Ignition Extreme, featuring Misty Island Legacy, My Whole Maple Mass, Odium, and more. This patch could be treated like Ignition Part 2 as a good chunk of it is copy and pasted from the previous patch, which I won't be going over. For more info on Fireworks Festival Parade and the burning events, you can check out my previous patch notes rundown video. With that said, I want you guys to know that I stream MapleStory on Twitch. Link in the description if you're interested, and without further ado, let's get into the Ignition Extreme patch rundown. Maple Expedition Miss the Island Legacy is Maple Story Survival. There's a lot going on, but to keep it short, the main objective is to survive and defend the central ruins from the invading goblins. Collect various resources to survive and set up the many defense facilities at your disposal. Complete each chapter to obtain rewards, the most important being the Ancient Slate Replica, which is a totem with flame bonus stat. However, be warned that only the Lava Stone Rebirth Flame can be used to reroll the flame bonus stat, and there's a limited amount of 100 so be prepared to settle on a decent roll instead of going for the best. For more in-depth details of the event, I suggest watching some guides. Odium is the next area in Grandis for players level 275 and above. It will open on January 26th. That means a new sacred symbol and new dailies. Hooray! Extreme mode for Black Mage and Chosen Saren will be added on January 26th. Hyper Burning and the Burning World events continue from the previous patch. A notable difference is the Burning World Leap additional small survey special perk event, which will give 10k maple points for completing the Burning World Step Up level 220 mission. Fireworks Festival Parade also continues from the previous patch with a couple of changes. Extreme Sports is now The Legend Returns, a 3v3 PvP game where you select an avatar, level up stats and skills, and fight the opposing team. Getting cumulative wins gives rewards like 3x coupons which I would like, but so far I've just been disconnecting. The Arcade Festival is now Bounce Beach Ball. Throw a beach ball to destroy the mobs above you. The trick is to hit the bombs and bounce the ball on the side or on the ceiling. The EXP reward can be received 2 times a day per world, and is a great way to level up Link skill and Legion mules. After Bound Beach Ball is Puzzle Master, which is solving puzzles. Attention please! Gives more Ignition Coins for reaching the daily Ignition Coin Cap. For 10 days, receive a total of 4,400 Ignition Coins. Hyper Ignition features 3 events. For Wonky the Fairy's Hyper Time, complete a daily mission and receive a daily reward of your choice, like a 3x coupon. Cumulative Completions also awards a title with damage and EXP buffs. For Blake's Hyper Ignition game, defeat mobs and weekly bosses to obtain boxes to receive letters and spell out words to obtain its corresponding rewards. Each word's rewards can only be claimed once per account and complete all words to get an android and a heart. Mike's minigame lounge features several minigames like One Card, Monster Pyramid, Supernatural Yacht, and more. Achieving milestones for each game will give rewards like perm annex, chairs, and mounts, and complete all achievements to get a medal. Christmas is around the corner, and My Home Maple Mass lets us shop for Christmas furniture for our Maple Story homes. They're cozy. For Orchid's New Year's favors, defeat 2,000 mobs to get a hint mission and complete that mission to receive a reward. This can be done 5 times, which will give Perm NX. Sunny Sunday features double ignition coins and limit for every week, 5 times chance to get Magnificent Souls in week 2, outfit boxes in week 3, 50% off spell trace enhancements and ability resets in week 4, hair boxes in week 6, and another 50% off spell trace enhancements and ability resets in week 8. There will be a spell trace fever time from December 23rd to 25th and January 27th to 29th, and both do not line up with either of the 50% off spell trace enhancements Sunny Sunday. That's it for the Ignition patch rundown. Like the previous patch, this one is full of events and neat rewards. Also like the previous patch, it's full of problems, like the lag in Misty Island, the DCing in The Legend Returns, and Wind Archers apparently DCing everyone. There's a lot in this patch, maybe too much. Also, I want to let you know about the Miracle Time this coming weekend. For those who don't know, the rate of tearing up potential on equips when using cash cubes is increased during Miracle Time. If you've watched my latest Star Forcing video, I'm basically done Star Forcing my equips and shifting focus towards bonus potential. I'll be streaming my Miracle Time session and I hope to see you guys live. Link in the description if you're interested. Thanks so much for watching. Like the video if it was helpful and subscribe if you're new. Peace.